Congratulations on your purchase of the Window Tint Film Application Kit from Blackmagic. Today, we're going to show you a series of steps that will help you apply your rear window tint. First, here are a few important things you need to know before you install your Blackmagic window tint. State laws regarding auto window tints vary from state to state, so be sure to check with local law enforcement about the window tint regulations in your area. Visit our website, autoexpressions.com, for more information. The conditions in which you apply your window film are very important. You can only apply window tint film when the temperature is between 40 and 90 degrees, where the weather will not freeze for at least three consecutive days. Also, remember to apply tint film in a dust-free environment that is well lit but free of direct sunlight. To help simplify your window tint installation, you'll find the following tools and accessories included in your application kit. Tint-On Easy Application Fluid is a pre-mixed, non-toxic solution designed specifically to help you apply your window film. The professional quality, specially angled squeegee will allow you to clean your glass and apply the film without bubbling or wrinkling. The multi-blade utility knife will provide a smooth cut of your tint film. Always keep the utility knife sharp. To get a fresh blade, carefully break off the top blade and push up the next blade according to the directions located on the back panel of your box. Use a soft, low lint cloth to dry your window and keep damaging dirt particles from affecting the job. You should never use paper towels during this procedure because they may leave behind debris that can damage your window tint. Also included in your kit is this instructional DVD to help guide you through the installation of your Blackmagic window tint. You will also need two other items that are not included in your kit. A roll of masking tape to tape down the bristles surrounding your window frame, and a scrubber to help you remove any excess debris from the surface of your window. Now that we've got the right tools, let's install our rear window film. First, you'll need to thoroughly clean the window. Start by spraying the Tint-On application solution generously around both sides of the window area. Also, gently use the scrubber to remove any debris that may still be attached to the window. When using the scrubber, keep wetting the window with the Tint-On solution and avoid damaging the rear window defogger lines across the window. Then, use a squeegee horizontally and from the top down to clean. Now, dry the area with your low lint cloth. Remember, never use a paper towel to dry the window because it may leave behind debris that can get caught under the window film. Now, we need to cut the proper amount of window film. Wet the outside of the window using the solution. This will hold the film in place as you trim it. Then, place a strip of the rear window film onto the glass with the protective liner side facing out. If your car has a rear brake light in the window area, it is important that you trim around the brake light. Place a light on the inside of the car to illuminate the area during trimming. This will help you achieve a perfect cut around the brake light. Never cover the brake light with film. Use your utility knife to trim away the excess window film, making an exact cut first on the right side of the film and then on the left. Now place another strip of film below the strip you just cut. To prevent gapping between the strips of film, it is very important that this second strip should overlap the first strip by about one eighth of an inch. Spray and repeat the cutting process. Then, perform the same procedure until the entire window has been covered. Carefully lift the first strip of film you just cut off the window. Before we proceed, we must first find the adhesive side of the film. The adhesive side of the film is the sticky side facing the protective liner. To find it, take two two-inch long pieces of the tape and place them facing each other on one corner of your window film. 
so that a small part of the tape strips extend over the film border. Now, press the tape pieces firmly onto each side of the film. In a single smooth motion, gently pull them apart. This will open the film and expose the sticky adhesive side. As you pull the liner apart, spray the area between the layers with the tint-on solution. This will reduce static buildup. Spray the tint-on solution generously onto the adhesive side of the film and the inside surface of the window. Now, take the first strip of film and with extreme care, place the wet adhesive side of the film onto the window. Be careful not to crease the film as you move it onto the window. At this point, the film should be wet enough so that it slides easily along the glass. Position the film so that it sits exactly along the top of the window area. Now that the film is on the window, spray the side of the film that is facing you until thoroughly wet. Squeegee the area, going horizontally along the top first, then from one side to the other. Now, squeegee out all the bubbles of air and liquid that remain. Next, repeat these steps for the remaining strips of window tint. Take special care, as these last strips of film will need to be curved in order to fit properly on the window. Respray the window and gently squeegee again until all the bubbles are gone. In particular, be sure to remove any bubbles that may gather at the edges of the window area. Finally, to avoid spotting or other damage to your car's upholstery, wipe up any tint on solution that may have spilled during the procedure. Let the entire area dry completely. Congratulations! You've just installed Black Magic Rear Window Tint.